We are still watching ways now. We'll just go straight into what we found in the news. Um, EC, you're going to go first today. What did you find in the news for us? You know, in Nigeria, we have something that is so important, uh, interesting, that they will tell us, don't pay for this, don't pay for that, don't pay for this. At the end of the day, we end up paying for it. <laughs> so in this case, Nigerians won't pay for COVID-19 vaccine. This is by federal government of Nigeria, of course. And they are saying, this is said by um, Dr. Sani Aliu, who is the national coordinator of the presidential tax force on COVID-19. Mm -hmm. He said that they are estimating about 40 million Nigerians will be vaccinated by next year. But my, my take is, where did they get that figure from? Because we don't have population census currently. Mm, at least we know we are over 200 million, Sean. Uh -huh, so we have 40 million. So maybe they just did a percentage mm. of people that will get the vaccine. Probably. So going forward, basically he said that... Um, he, they are expecting that this will happen by next year, mm -hmm. um, by the end of the, no, by mid next year. So hopefully we are looking forward to that. I must applaud government mm. on this as well, but we just hope it won't be hijacked and at the end of the day, just like Nin and... Uh, that people will be paying. That we have to pay. To and you know, they, call, they keep saying bail is free, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, when you're caught in police net, mm. you still have to pay. Ah. She so, will be together. Yes. <laughs> so I, I just hope it won't turn to that kind of saga hmm. at the end of the day, basically. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Mari, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I feel like that's what's going to happen. They'll be like, the vaccine is free, but you have to buy your syringe and your <laughs> Mori, that's not nice. But that's the truth. Yeah. Uh, putting it mildly, she just hit the nail on the head. It's most likely to happen. No, that's but I point. saw somewhere, was it two days ago, where they said that the government was asking for a particular loan to be able to purchase, I mean, sorry, funds mm -hmm. to purchase the COVID-19 vaccine. So they're already buying it. So why would they now... I, I don't know. Another source actually said that getting the COVID vaccine into Nigeria is one thing. Getting Nigerians to actually take the COVID-19 is vaccine. another vaccine mm. is another thing. Mm. So I would suggest that they have to promote it very well. Mm -hmm. In fact, all the heads of states, <laughs> all the head of government, they, they, yeah, they, they should they. take it and we should see it that they are actually taking it before. Share the one that they televised, uh, Mori. <laughs> the one they televised with uh, Joe Biden taking syringe. Absolutely. People said it's not the real vaccine, like inside the content. What no, do you people want? People are saying that. I didn't, what's what do you people want? Did I say that? Abba. Eh? Don't, skeptics Mori. will always believe that there is yeah, always an undertone well, in that's it. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mori, what did you find for us in the news? Okay, so the um, Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has asked social media users not to flaunt their wealth on social media in order to protect themselves this Christmas. I find this one rather funny because, I mean, instead of looking for ways to protect the citizens, um, bringing up initiatives to protect us, and telling us not to flaunt our wealth on social media, I don't know, but I think this one is a little bit funny, if you ask me. No, but I think, <laughs> but I think there's a lot of sense in it, too. I totally okay, agree with you. So um, a lot of people are not smart users of social media. Mm -hmm. They are not smart at all. You know, when I see people posting and tagging their location, like real time, exactly. that is a very, very risky thing to do, right? Or everything that the they The way do. you have, um, the way I'm, um, what's it called? Everything has evolved into on online. Oh. Arm robbery too has evolved online. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a lot of arm robbers online. You have them on social media, mm -hmm. right? And they monitor. They, they see all these things. They can actually, some people are so, um, I don't know, they are so ignorant. They don't know that they can actually trace you from point A to point B. You might be looking at it that you are flexing and you are mm -hmm. posting your location and everything. Mm -hmm. It's just for them to lay an ambush. So I think it makes, it, it makes a lot of sense more if you ask me. And less information you throw out there, the, the better. The better for you. Because, so you know, important. the times are really tough. Mm -hmm. A lot of things are happening. And Absolutely. People, and don't forget that people also... These arm robbers, they did not make their cuts for this uh, year. Oh, yeah. You understand? They have to meet their targets. <laughs> Absolutely. And you don't want to be the one to be the victim of that, their target that they want mm -hmm. to meet. So I think it's, all, it's only fair for him to make that, um, that advice and tell mm -hmm. people that they should, you know, um, what's it called, be careful. Mm -hmm. But Mori, why you, this thing, you, you don't put your location now. You are a very smart... Um, <laughs> She just now that you brought up in the location aspect, now I think I get what you're saying. But you were saying don't flaunt your wealth. You know, talking mm -hmm. about don't flaunt your phones, don't flaunt your cars. But you 
bringing the location perspective, I think that it does make sense. It's, if that's what we're trying to There say. is a motivational speaker that actually job. talked about uh, um, having a Lamborghini and Ferrari. Mm -hmm. And he was all over the place. And because of that, somebody actually unfollowed him and also decided to track him and, you know, try to ambush him. Wow. So you have to be very careful of the information you actually throw out there. It's mm -hmm. so important, mm -hmm. especially at the times we have found ourselves mm -hmm. that social media is, is desperate to uh, make money. You have to be very careful. Means. I think it's a very good um, uh, advice. Advice, counsel, absolutely. Yeah. So my story is quite interesting. I saw it online. Um, I think it's the Cross River State um, government, right? Mm. The comment sale of Christmas chicken. Ooh. When I saw this, um, I saw the video Mm. you know, from another TV station. And I thought it was really nice to mention, you know, because especially, I, I don't know what the cost of chicken is currently going for right now, but what they are planning mm. to sell this chicken for is about 1,800 naira, you know, mm. which is really, really reasonable, you know, for, for, for people to be able to at least celebrate Christmas. So I thought it was worth mentioning, you know, and I think mm. most state governments should do things like this. Absolutely. If the government invests in food security, in food farming, in everything that has to do with food, Trust me, to go further than just mm. individuals trying to, you know, make, um, uh, do business. Because mm. they can do it on a larger scale. And that's what we've seen with um, the Cross River State Government. So I must commend them. You know, I thought to mention that, that it's, it's important that, you know, things like this happen yeah, but across also, all states. I, I, I get what you're saying. But I, uh, for people that like animals or animal lovers, they would see the... The fact that the animals are still alive and they were turned upside down, it was a bit um, gruesome. Really? Yes. I, I, want, I didn't them. look at that one. Me, I'm just looking yes. at the, the, the story behind it. And, <laughs> exactly. And I'm happy. No, but I think they would have killed them properly now. Some of them weren't. Really? Yes. Ah, well. Yes. Mori, you are a Muslim now. You people, you people really, mm. really frown at those kind of things, right? Well, we don't frown at the killing, killings of animals. Just how did you kill? No, them? that's what I'm saying. You you mm. frown at how it's um, if they don't kill them properly, if they don't mm. slaughter them properly, right? They have absolutely sharp, almost pain free. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And how much is it going to sell? If one thousand eight hundred. So which is Ooh. really which is really. Cheap. I wish that was Lagos. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're hoping. And so chicken is about two thousand five three thousand. It depends on the mm. size of the chicken you want to buy. But for this size of chicken, I think it will go for about about two thousand three thousand. You understand? So exactly. I think a thousand eight hundred is really subsidized. Mm. Is really subsidized. Totally. Mm -hmm. Totally. They did a good job. Yeah. So we must commend them. So we're going to mm -hmm. talk business, 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 business. When we come back from the break, we'll mm -hmm. see you after that. Mm -hmm.